Hey guys, it's Steve from SGC. Today I'm going to be going over how and when to use your right trigger and when to use your left trigger to get steel animations or how to put yourself in a better position to get some stops. I know some people have been asking me when I do get my lane steals, um, if I be holding R trigger or L trigger or when to use those. So let me help you guys out. The first clip I want to show you guys, we end up missing the shot and I'm getting back on the break, but right here you can see I'm pretty far away. So you should already be holding our trigger. This should never be an L2 steal. You should never be holding L2 here. You are getting back on the break, if anything, to try and get back in front of him. Uh, luckily, this this opposing player has like low pass accuracy, but you could see I'm holding our trigger because I'm full-blown sprinting. And once you hit square at the right time, you're going to get these animations right here for your pick six, um, and those are big. Like you got to be able to utilize your R trigger to put you in a better spot when the pass animation uh, comes out because it'll pull you towards the defender or towards where the ball is going to be. Uh, the next one I have for you guys is right here. A little bit farther. Okay, so we end up getting a good block, but their center ends up getting the board. So I know this pass is going to go here to the right side. And your best thing to do is hold our trigger. And even if you don't get the steal, hopefully if the pass comes out and you hit square at the right time, the R trigger animation will put you in a good spot. So as we'll see, I'm going to miss the... Oh, I, they don't like give me the animation, but I still am, like put myself in a good spot with the R trigger animation where it's going to tip off me and then we get the ball back. So it's like, even though you might not get the pick six, as long as you're putting yourself in a decent spot, like that, that's obviously like the main point of this. Uh, let's go to the next one. It's going to be right here. I believe this one's just an L2 steal. Yep. So that's all L2. You don't need to be an R trigger. Cause sometimes if you're, if you're squared up and you feel like you're in the passing lane, do not hit R trigger. Cause sometimes if you're holding R trigger at the same time, it'll just throw you out of bounds. And that is not what we're looking for when we're playing defense. The whole point of this video is to show you guys when it's just all you need is the L2 for this or when you need the R trigger. Now, don't get me wrong, guys. You always still need to be able to time up your animations. And so, for instance, right here, this is where – this is a, a bad – this shows a bad rep but also a good rep at the same time. So, watch my guy right here. I think the pass is about to happen and it ends up not happening, but I'm holding our trigger and look where it throws my player. See that? That's what could happen if you're holding our trigger at the wrong time and holding square. But – as you can see, the play goes on. I try to take this guy up top because I think the pass is coming here. He ends up rolling, so I don't need him anymore. Now, if I am if I pause this, you can see right corner is wide open. So this is where another one of those situations where I know I'm in a terrible spot. So I'm going to have to use my right trigger to get me back in front of this defender or at least give me a chance at a pick six animation. So I'm holding our trigger. I hold square. They end up not giving me the animation. But watch where this R trigger puts me, puts me in a great spot for a bump steal. And that's how you effectively want to use your your R trigger or your you know your turbo basically from going for passing lane steals. So one, if you do not get the passing lane, at least hopefully the animation will continue to pull you and put you in a good spot where you can get some sort of bump steal or at least a good contest. Let's go to let's go to this one. Okay. So right here. This is another thing that I was just talking about with right trigger where I'm not going to be able to just hold L2 in this and, and steal this lane to the center. So I hit R trigger and square a little late, but you could see it even gives me that extra little step and then I'm able to get the block instead. So at first, watch this possession because I'm kind of playing too. I'm playing the guy in the left corner a little bit, but right here I'm holding, I'm holding, holding L2. I hold R trigger real quick, square, puts me in a decent spot. You end up getting the block. I know it's a little confusing, guys, but once you start messing around with the L2 and the R2, like you'll you'll start to get that feel for it, and it'll be a little bit better for you guys. Um, this is one of the last cups I wanted to show you guys. Okay. Boom. This is like the most common steal for a power forward right here who's guarding pick and roll. This is all L2. Everybody's crossing the face. Everybody's cutting back door in the wreck. So, like, right here, I am all L2. I'm getting a bump animation on this guy, but I do see the guy's cutting back door on me. And if you just time up when that pass should be there, just being a 2K knowledge player, like you should kind of know when the, this pass has to come. You're holding L2, hit square at the right time, boom, should get a nice little pick animation, and then you run your break. I know there's a little couple things that are a little confusing about it all, but I kind of hope it helped out with a little bit because I know in our streams I get a lot of questions about like when I should hold L2, when I should hold our trigger. Um, 
basically, if you're in a bad spot, that's when you got to use your R trigger to get yourself back in the play. If you're in a good spot and you put yourself there defensively and you're good and you feel comfortable, that's when you should just be L, just L trigger and then time your square. Okay. Right stick steals aren't a thing anymore. So don't be trying to do that in the wreck. You don't need it anymore. Uh, but yeah, time up your square. Know when to use right trigger. Know when you're good and using your left trigger. Uh, hopefully this helps out. Let me know if you guys need any more help with defense or tips like that. I'll try to give you guys the tricks of the trade. I'm Steez. I appreciate you guys. Comment down below uh, if you like the video. And we'll see you guys next time.